I am so happy to come your way again. So today we are going to talk about weddings and how to plan or have a wedding on a low budget or how to have a wedding without money at all. So I I really want to give you the right counsel and give you the right advice in order to have a wedding. We all know the inflation happening in our countries, anywhere you find yourself and you are thinking when can I have my dream wedding? When can I have it this wedding? When can I have it that wedding? So today I'm going to tell us the things we need to do to have a very wonderful wedding. I don't know. The first thing is set a budget on and stick to it. Okay, so you plan that you're going to spend this amount of money on your wedding. You plan you're going to get this kind of material for your this kind of get this deco, trying to get this, trying to get that. And you have already written down your plans, written down the amount attached to each activity that you want to have at your wedding. Kindly stick to it. Okay, don't see something later on and you're like, oh, okay, but I like the way this person did it. And then the person's own is far, far higher than the amount you kept for yourself. It is not worth it. Okay, so get on a budget. Okay, write down the things you want to do, the amount of money you want to do that with, and then stick to that budget. Okay, do not be tempted. I tell you, planning a wedding can be full of temptations, but do not be tempted thing I want to talk about is you either rent your wedding dress or you let a fashion designer sew it for you that is of the view that or that is to make a point that um, already made wedding gowns are very expensive especially in my country Ghana for you to walk into a boutique and ask for a wedding dress my sister I miss you oh, you are you get what I'm saying you are uh, mm -hmm. but I, for instance, went to the market and then I bought my own beaded lace, very beautiful lace. It's here and then they sold it for me. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was great, you know. And the uh, fashion designer was so good to me, you know, and the amount she gave to me, oh Lord, it was so wonderful. And I have about five people coming up to me for my fashion designer to sew their wedding she's gowns for very them. good she's just right okay so if you want a wedding gown to be sewn by her kindly get in touch with me and then i will let her do a neat a very neat work for you thank you so much and the next thing i want to talk about is get married in church your church is going to be free. You are not going to pay for the venue. You are already a member of the church. So you are not going to pay for venue. You are not going to pay for um, canopies. You are not going to pay for chairs. You are not going to pay for sound systems. You are not going to pay for the floor. <laughs> you are not going to pay for the pillows to even pray upon. Like, it's going to be free for you. Okay, there are some people who feel like, me, I want to have my wedding near the stream, near a river, near a pond. I want to have my my wedding outside church premises and that can be very expensive currently in Ghana I know of a, a, a wedding venue going out for 20,000 Ghana cities just the venue chairs are not included just the empty space for you is 20,000 Ghana cities and places somewhere East Legon and all those you know big big areas in Ghana American house areas and you can tell me that those places will go for 50,000 Ghana cities and I will believe you because it, it is doable people can really do it so try getting married in a church and not outside church premises it is very free like affordable Consider for having your reception in the church once the uh, wedding is over you're outside taking pictures they're already sharing your food to people if you have snacks, share it to them. If you have drinks, share it to them. If you don't have food, you want to do only pastries, chips, and all those things. It is allowed, my people. My sister, don't let anybody put pressure on you to do a buffet for anybody. It is not their money. It is not their wedding. Okay? It is your wedding. Okay? If they want to eat rice, they should cook it in their house and eat before coming to, to your wedding. Don't stress yourself about wedding receptions. And I know of somebody who had a wedding reception and the person paid close to 60,000 Ghana cities for the wedding reception. The food, it was a buffet. The food, oh God. It was too much. It was just, just too much. Okay, so if you're planning to have your wedding without money or on a low budget, consider having your reception in the church premises. Guess what? You're not going to pay for ushers. You're not going to pay for people to share the food. You're not going to pay for sound systems. People are not coming to dance anyhow. People, no. 
right after the wedding ceremony you're already dishing out the food sharing it to people the church ushers will do it for you the church us ushers will usher people to their seat you don't need to pay people to usher people to their seats for you a lot of things are happening in church premises or in, in wedding receptions that i think is just unnecessarily waste of what of money having a wedding reception in your church is the best decision you could ever have i did mine like that and it was very prioritize good. what is most important to you the couple or to you the bride or the groom what is important for you on that very day the important thing is that both of you get married both of you tie the knot both of you get to experience love both of you get to have a church minister in front of you ushering you guys into marriage that is the most important thing for I or for me when I was getting married. So about you, what is most important to you? The most important thing for you is to get married, right? Yeah, so make sure that that happens, okay? Stick to it. Don't let anybody bring you unnecessary pressures around. Oh, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Hey, what about, hey, what about the in-laws? What are, The in-laws will sort themselves out. What about your friends? They will sort themselves out. What about the church members, the pastors? They will sort themselves out, my dear. Don't need to stress, overstress yourself, trying to get everything organized for people you don't even know. Don't do it, okay? The important thing to you or the prioritized things that you think are important to you, list them down and make sure that on that wedding day, you execute that. The other thing I want to talk about is um, get married when it is an uh, non-festive seasons. We all know very well that festive seasons like um, Ramadan, like Eid al-Fitr, like uh, Easter, like Christmas, like independence like all those festive occasions and festive seasons become so expensive if you're really trying to have your wedding around december we all know chicken is already at a high rate because it's december goat or cow or whatever is already expensive around it's or feather um, or easter it's already expensive okay getting an, um, a venue if in case you you, you think you, you can afford a venue getting a venue during festive seasons are very expensive why because there is there are a lot of roll calls okay or protocols are uh, there people are already you know in a hurry to get those places for their program so you're going in there to have to hold a program or a wedding ceremony it's going to cost you so try having a wedding around a non-festive season a non-festive season means a, a month where there are no occasions at all in in your uh, in your country or in your district or in your state there are no festivals there are no whatever it's just a normal month people are going about their duties you know things are said to be less expensive around non festive seasons if you agree with me kindly comment in the comment section and if you're still here with me it means you love the content and you so much want to listen to the end you know what to do kindly click like share and comment okay let your other sisters or your other brothers who are trying to get married get to this um content and it will bless them a lot okay i also want to talk about asking of assistance instead of gifts if you have loyal friends around you and you think they are so intelligent they are so talented or they are so gifted you could kindly ask of them oh can you please instead of giving me a gift can you please come and sing for me so you have a friend who know how to sing who know how to style hair who knows how to organize a, a decoration for you who knows how to do a bouquet who knows how to do your fan who know how to beat who know how to do this who know how to you know friends around you who know how to do something somebody can be an MC if you have a jovial friend or somebody who's so you know uh, a sanguine who can become your MC for you and you do not have to go and rent somebody else and do it guess what I did it I did it for myself my uh, bridal shower was organized by a very close friend I will link her below and if you need her anywhere in the country kindly get her she's very good her works are good her works are great you can get her to organize those her name is called Barbara, but her work name is called Lela Yu. I will link it up for you to see. She did my bridal shower for me. She did everything for me. And the lady who styled my hair was also good. And the person who acted as my wedding planner and organizer, Elijah, is currently outside the country, in the USA now. And I'm mentioning his name because he did a great job at my wedding. This guy worked back to back for I and my husband. Oh, God. Elijah, God bless you so much. Okay. So get assistant, get people, people who are ready to help you, and they will do it from their heart. It is okay. 
are as they are doing it for you they are enjoying the you know the celebration you know so get assistance it's not everything you need to use your money to buy get somebody who can do them for you as a friend as a loved one as a family money to get things done for me they did it out of their own hearts and everything the last thing i want to talk about is those who matter do not care and those who care do not matter those who love you those who genuinely look out for you those who genuinely want the, pro the day to go you know successfully they will not matter about food they will not matter about drinks they will not matter about who wears what what you are wearing all what they matter is that you are happy and they will go in all the way to make the wedding a success so surround yourself with people who are good recently a friend reached out to my twin sister and um, wanting a bridesmaid why because she was able to organize somebody's wedding for her but at the end when it is her wedding they, everybody's taking out their hand like well it is up to you however you want to go about your program do it and she got offended she's like somebody's wedding who was also her friend we all came together and did it why is it it's my time and all of you are taking off your hands from it you know? surround yourself with people who are ready to do what you have done for them okay who are ready to kill themselves because you have killed for them when it comes to your wedding those are the people you need people who are ready to die for you like they got your back you know like 24 7 those are the people you need around I'm you thanking you so much for listening god bless you and have a wonderful day bye